This Saturday night we got four games for you on tap. My name is Andrea Sachinka and you're watching the KHL Update. We travel to Yaroslavl first for Locomotive Fest Salavati Live. Homeside in Jersey, great start of the game. 10 minutes in, Salavat can clear the puck from the slot and bounces around and finally Stepan Sannikov puts it in. 1 0 lockout. They double their lead five minutes later. As prospect Nikolai Kovalenko puts it top shelf past Andrei Kareev. Salavat get a goal back four minutes into the second period. Lena Soma credits to his 20th assist of the season as Timo Hornikan is sends it home from the right circle. But Locker restored it to goal margin four minutes later. Anton Lander celebrates his 10th goal of the season. Magnus Payar is pencil with the only assist on the play. Five minutes into the third period, Payarvis Nansen gets his second goal of the season to make it a 4-1 hockey game. Anton Lander scores his second of the game and 11th of the season soon after that to put it away. Lander and Payarvis Nansen extend their point streak to three games each and Lokomotiv take it 5-1 on home ice. Milanko Nizhnikovs now where Neftik Imik lays him up against Spartak. The red and white strike first. Artem Fedorov shoots from the dot and finds his target. Excellent shot by Fedorov. The play was not offside and Spartak go up 1-0. They double their lead three minutes into the second. Patrick Kersley gets on one knee and shoots from the right circle and it goes in upon Solgalimov. They make it 3 0 late in the period. Mikhail Yinkov takes a shot off the wall and it falls Konstantin Barolin. Nefty Kimik swap Barolin for Alexander Sherichenkov after that and get a goal back 8 minutes into the third period. Damir Sherabjanov nets his second of the season. But Spartak bag it 5 minutes later. Arjun Fedorov scores his second of the game and eighth of the season as Herschel and Galimov draw the assist. Nefty Kimik loses their second in a row as Spartak win 4 1 on the road. This is Moscow, Russia's capital, and we're here to see Dynamo take on Sibir. On team open score in 7 minutes into the game, Sergei Boykov snaps it from the point and gets deflected in goal zone. 1-0 Dynamo. They improve their lead to 2 0 7 minutes later as Daniel Tarasov scores his 7th goal of the season. Nick Sivrish is in the Osipi at the end with the assist. There's no scoring in the second, but there's plenty in the third. Andre Patterson makes it 3 0 just 2 minutes in as he nets it on the wraparound. Sibir get it back three minutes later. Yuki Yotki Paka scores his first goal of the season. Yuka Pelto with a great diagonal pass. Ten minutes later, now the Sibir defenseman finds the back of the net. This time Pelto sets up Yaroslav Kabara from the high slot and he slams it past Ivan Vakirov. Sibir rolled the dice with the extra attacker, but it doesn't work. Daniel Tarasov scores his second of the game on the empty net and that's game. Dynamo 4, Sibir 2. We go to Minsk Belarus for our last game of the day. Avangard entertain Dynamo Minsk. We pick it up from the sack and Slava Boyna drops down low from the blue line, passes to the spot. Rob Kleekhammer gets his lumber on it and miraculously misses the net. Soon after that, Roman Duka finds himself in front of the yawning net as the puck bounces right to his stick and he's unable to beat Igor Babkov. What a stop to keep it a tie game. Dynamo breaks the deadlock meter to the third. Ryan Spooner steals the puck shorthand and gets on his jets and scores the third goal of the season. Dynamo almost holds on to the lead, but with 12 seconds on the clock, Sven Andrew Gatto banks it home off Yana Sandrug. Tie game. It goes to overtime. Ryan Spooner has the game on his stick as he's in on another breakaway, but this time Bobkov comes out on top. So it has to be decided in the shootout and Avangard prevail. Sergei Shirakov scores the winner and Avangard take it 2-1 on the road. And that's it for the LKHL update, but do come back tomorrow for six more games including Kunlun Red Star vs Metalurg and Sochi against Dynamo Riga. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.